All right, guys, I got another bone conduction uh, headphone set uh, for you guys to take a look at. These got brought to my attention, and I thought they were quite intriguing. The last couple sets that I've had have been kind of, you know, meh. I've given them to my mother-in-law, and she was kind of meh. Um, however, these are slightly different. They have a lot more oomph to them. They also have a built-in player and stuff. I I don't know. It's it's very interesting to read. So you don't necessarily have to have this synced to your phone, if I was reading this correctly. So um, yeah. So we're gonna pull off the cellophane and uh, take a look at what we get, and we'll go from there. We'll figure this out together. All right. Ooh. Okay. Nice box. Nice carrying case hard shell all right uh we got a little envelope that's probably got instructions and stuff in it anything else in the box nothing else in the box that's it okay so there's nothing else in there hopefully everything else is in this cool looking box Ooh, okay, here we go. We got our cable here for charging. It is a battery, um, uh, mag not battery, uh, magnetic charger. We have earplugs. Okay, that's interesting. I've never had them come with the earplugs that help these get kind of more amplified. Because as much as they vibrate your bones, you still can hear everything around you. So a lot of times it, it'll interfere. Oop, I'm knocking the camera again. Interfere with the actual audio. So that's an improvement right there. All right, so let's see. Inspecting this around. Okay, here's our charge port here. So the magnet links into there and whatever. Okay, let's see if this has any juice. Okay, it's in Bluetooth mode right now. So it's you got a little indicator light here that's telling you what's what. All right, so let's turn that back off. Come on. All right, how do you turn it off? <laughs> All right, that'll turn itself off. At least they usually do. If not, I'll just kill that battery. Okay, let's find out what's in the envelope. The envelope should have, like, the user manual and things like that. So let's see what we get in there. All right, so operation is super simple. We have our power button, which if we press and hold it a certain amount of time, it does things. And play, pause. Uh, you can set your mode to MP3 mode. Next track, volume up, previous tracks. Okay, so that's just a quick guide. Let's go see what this one entails. Uh, okay, so this tells you how to install. It is drag and drop from the look of it. Okay, uh, download all your files and computer folder. Okay, uh, well, we'll have to take a look at that again. I will screen record when I plug it in and we'll take a look at that and how to add tracks to this. Um, but yeah, so allegedly this thing does store files. It, sto it does store it, so. Um, alright. So, that's basically what you get in this lovely container here. You, you get your user guide, you get your install guide, some earplugs, which is great, because again, you don't normally get things like that. And I have used my own earplugs. It is a magnetic charge port and data transfer cord so don't lose this because you will need it for this this is very specific um other than that um yeah that's it so until um the next part where i work on transferring files enjoy guys all right guys so we're back at my computer now i got my obs software running right now for my screen capture um, I have the headphones in my hand and the little pluggy thing. So to show you what it does is once you connect it to the charge port, if you give it a minute, it'll install to your computer. Now I've already installed this, so I've already dropped tracks on here. It comes with a little MP3 file that actually has the instructions on how to do this, which is kind of funny because obviously you've already done it if 
you can access it. But at least this way you can also access this file not plugged in. So you can actually cycle through on the headset itself to the file and listen to it and go, oh, that's how I add files to this. This is literally drag and drop. So I could grab music files from anywhere on my computer and just drag it over into here. Now this file here is 111 megabytes, something like that, right? So this thing's pretty big. It's also only 11 hour track that I put on there. Uh, if I back out onto my computer, you can see here it's the, you know, Ryobi, um, what, Ryobi, <laughs> how do you know I do tools? Uh, RyBC01 file. And so if it doesn't automatically pop up, you can just come here. Uh, it is roughly about 29 gigabytes of space. So you got about a 30 gig onboard chip in there, I guess you can say. So I've already taken up 28.9 gigs. You can just double click here. It's open, drag it in and you're good to go. Um, the, that, the data transfer rate was a little slow. But considering it's going through a magnetic link, I'm not surprised that it was slow. So I'm not going to complain, and especially considering that I moved literally an 11-hour track onto here. So yeah. Um, as for navigating, once you hit the mode button to MP3, it'll automatically start playing, and then you can hit the... Um, I forgot what button it was. You hit one of the buttons, and it'll cycle to the next track. And you can cycle through. So if you have multiple songs in here, you can cycle through each one or you can just let it play and it'll automatically kick to the next. Um, as for music, I enjoyed the audio quality of the music. I enjoyed everything pretty much about it. But uh, this is an audiobook, and it sounded like they were sitting in front of me talking to me the story. Like it was that clear and crisp and nice. I put the headphones in and they sounded great. So. Yeah, I mean, I can't really demonstrate the audio quality for you, but they they are really good for what they are. I mean, I'm not used to the bone conduction stuff, really, but now this set made me start to like them more, especially with the earplugs. When I put those in, crystal clear audio, I, oops, sorry about the microphone there, um, crystal clear audio, everything seems to be, you know, sounding great. Music, the vibrations kind of bothered me a little bit, but once I got used to it, I was good. I was able to mow the lawn and still hear what was going on with my headphones on, you know, with the headphones, with, you know, the conduction going. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't know what else to really tell you about these. I mean, they're really simple to navigate and use. So, yep, and then once you unplug it, the file will disappear. And again, like I said, you can do a quick connect. Once it's connected, you give it a minute and your computer will do a little install. Once the install is done, it automatically registers and will automatically open for you. So I uh, hope this helps you guys out and I will see you next time.